guys, Katie here. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed the video intro um, on iMovie now. I have made a video intro for my videos, and so whenever I'm going to be making vlogs, I use my webcam on iMovie, I will be adding that intro in. So this is going to be a tag video um, called Pretty in Pink. I was requested to do, to do this, but I was not tagged to do this. I don't think it's a tag. I'm not really sure. I'll have to check again. But, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this because I thought it would be really cute and really fun. So, um, hope you enjoy the video. First, I'm going to start off with all my pink lip products, including my homemade lip balms. So, I have a few homemade lip balms that are all pink. I'll go through these. Um, this is an angel pink one. This is a, um, I call this one watermelon sugar rose, like a hot pink. This is a little bit more of a flush, um, rosy pink called flirty pink. And then I have a minty pink color. I don't know why I call it minty pink. Probably because it smells like mint still. It's in a mint box. It looks like that. Um, then I have a fuchsia pink lip gloss. Homemade. And so yes, that's all my homemade lip balms and lip glosses that are pink. Then I have all my lip glosses bought from the store. Um, and cheap ones. So I'll go through the crappy ones real fast for you. Um, this was sent to me in the mail by... Um, Seventeen magazine as a gift for buying this. I'm gonna throw away because it has been leaking, and it is a um, Elf lip stain in birthday suit. It's a really pretty color, just sucks in general. Um, I have my um, good lip glosses now that I have that are just pink. Um, some of them are lip balms. Don't really use them too much. Uh, the ones that are pink that I use a lot are in my purse, and I'll tell you what those are real fast. Those are my L'Oreal Hoop Jelly Balm in plush, and a um, airy lip gloss. It's just a regular pink kind of. I should have those to you before. I'm going to start with my um, new Buxom lip gloss in Skipper. And it's just a peachy pink kind of color. I really like that color. Are these like? No, they're not. Okay. Anyway, this is my um, Love My Lips lip gloss. Kind of thick and sticky, but I actually like it. It smells like chocolate, so that's a plus. This is my CoverGirl lip gloss. I don't use it very much, but I had to get some new lip gloss the other day. So I bought this again. This is in... Uh, it's number 840, it doesn't have this um, actual name, but um, it's just a CoverGirl lip gloss. I have a lip balm, which I can open again because I love the color of this. It smells amazing. It's actually a gloss, but yeah, it smells really good. It's like a, it looks, it shows, it looks really dark on camera, but it's more of like a fuchsia pink, I guess. It's cute. Then I have some lip glosses. I have one by Beauty Rush from Victoria's Secret, and I have a crappy one that I'll probably throw away, too, by Maybelline, which is just a shiny, lustrous um, Maybelline one in lolly pink. I have a lip balm, or a lip um, chapstick, kind of, by Soft Lips in pearl. And then I have a another chapstick by Burt's Bees. It's a lip shimmer. It's in guava. So that's all my lip glosses and lip balms, but then I have a few lipsticks that are pink. This cheap color works one, which I never use, which is like a rosy pink. I have a nice Rimmel London one in Pink Chic, which is like my favorite lips or lipstick, and it's just a bubblegum pink. I have a fuchsia pink one by New York Color, and that's all my pink lip sticks. I have a few pink shingle, sh shingle single eyeshadows for you, and um, this is my LA Colors Loose Pigment Eye. It's pretty good for its price. I have a CoverGirl single eyeshadow. I don't know the color, but it's like a purplish pink. So that counts. And I have a quad by Colorworks. And these are just pink eyeshadows that you can probably create a smoky eye with, but I'm not sure. They're not very pigmented. Yeah, they're, they kind of suck. Um, so that's all my pink eyeshadows. Um, pink Scents, real fast. Love's Baby Soft would be one of them. And this is not spray pink, but... It actually, the bottle's really cute and pink, so I just wanted to show you guys this. If you haven't tried Love's Baby Soft, you probably should because it smells amazing. Um, this is another one of my scents that's in pink, and it's Sweet Pea. And it is a mini delight by Paris Presence, and you guys get these at Target. And it's a body mist. And so that's my scents. I only have two pink scents besides my um, Jessica Simpson Fancy and... How am I forgetting all these things? I really should show you all my pink products, but I couldn't gather 
very many because they're all kind of scattered and stuff, so I'm sorry. I'm trying to show you as many as possible. Real fast, um, nail polishes that are pink. I have my New York Color Longwear Nail Enamel Fuchsia Shock Cream. One Forever 21 Hot Pink, or I should say Neon Pink Nail Polish. Again, that came with a pack from Forever 21. I have a Rimmel London Nail Polish in Pink Punk. A single little small Sally Hansen nail polish, which probably isn't good anymore, but um, yeah, that's pink. A light pink. It's in French pink, and it's by Love My Nails. It's kind of a pretty color. Comes out too liquidy, though. And I have, last but not least, my Icine lip... Or, it's a lot of it today. Sorry, nail polish, and it's just a hot pink one again. And this the formula of this sucks, so... Don't recommend I use nail polishes at all. Put all those back for me. Here. Okay, so that's pretty much all of my pink makeup products for the most part. I mean, I definitely have a lot more, but um, they're probably just all over the place. And I have a lot of pink things. So let's just put video. Sorry, I'm kind of not in a very good mood and not putting up an act or anything like that. Um, but. I'm just not feeling very well because, well, I kind of passed out today at school because, okay, you guys don't know this about me. I don't think I've ever told you this. I'm definitely afraid of needles, and I also get very, very woozy and um, and sick when somebody even talks about blood. And it's only at school. I'm okay outside of school. I love horror movies. I'm okay with blood outside of school. But when I'm in class and somebody starts talking about it, it just makes me sick so um there was a blood drive today at my high school and obviously I didn't see anybody giving blood but um just people talking about it and every single class kind of got to me so in geometry class a girl was talking about it and she rarely said anything and just a little bit of her talking about it made me really bad and sick and I didn't throw up or anything like that but I got almost I almost passed out pretty much uh not that you guys care <laughs> I'm just wondering you know that's kind of why I don't feel very good right now and I just ate too much of Halloween candy also, so that might be it. Gosh, my teeth are starting to stop hurting, so, like, they're getting less sore. Um, alright, so I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the intro at the beginning of it. Um, tell me what you think of that, and this will be uploaded in a few days. Probably not the day it's actually, um, filmed, but, um, I'll see you guys later. Hasta la vista.